Hello, my name is Bobby Kennedy, and I'm running for Kelowna City Council. It's no secret that Kelowna is one of the most beautiful places on earth, and it's no wonder why everyone wants to live here. Kelowna was just recently named number 38th most expensive city in the world to live in. This poses a big question. How do we make it more affordable to do just that? Live in Kelowna. Every year more and more students are attending UBCO and Okanagan College. But due to our lack of high paying jobs and unaffordable housing, they're usually forced to fly the coop and spread their wings to other regions in order to find success. We must find a way to be able to keep this young talent here in order to grow Kelowna forward with strong, vibrant, fresh ideas. If we cannot find new ways to attract new business, bring higher paying jobs, and definitely increase the affordability of housing in Kelowna, many of us will find ourselves upstream without a paddle. I honestly believe that hard work and thinking outside the box is the only way to conquer this problem. By bringing fresh faces to council, we will then have a fresh approach to the city's biggest issues at hand. By working hard as one, we'll soon be overflowing with success. And that's something everybody can be happy for. We need to put an end to homelessness and hunger. Everyone is created equal, but not everyone is as fortunate as some. By providing homes and food for the less fortunate, we can provide some stability and make sure that they're no longer considered just rolling stones. When I was a kid, my local weatherman used to host a show called Gold Trails and Ghost Towns. How was I supposed to know my downtown would soon turn into a ghost town? We have a problem down here. Not only is it drugs and homelessness, it's that our businesses are going out of business, going up for lease, and staying up for lease. We need to change this. The revitalization of downtown is something that needs to happen, and is going to happen. With Bernard Street reconstruction set as a go, we must ensure our want for beauty is not overshadowing the hard work and needs of the local merchants. We may be ripping up the very foundation they have been paving their dreams with. We must work closely with these business owners to make sure we are not taking a step in the wrong direction. Hi, I'm Tim from Ash Vault. I uh, own a business uh, down here on Bernard Avenue. I would love to see growth downtown. My biggest thing is I think if we can get a schedule that everybody is okay with, which I think we have, um, it, we can all kind of work together and, and just kind of make it a destination even during the construction time. With more and more people choosing to go green these days and the constant price increases at the pump, it is no wonder transit is being used more than ever. We must improve the transit system. We need better scheduling, more frequency of buses, and a centralized hub in the Rutland area. Hey, let's just get our transit system working better and get some more efficiency in the system and uh, make it good for everybody. Thank you very much. The city of Kelowna does not have infinite resources to make this change happen. And the change won't happen overnight. But one resource we do have is your opinions. We have over 100,000 of those. And I invite you to share them at bobbykennedy.ca. Hit the feedback button and tell me what your vision of Kelowna is and what type of change you want to happen. Because at the end of the day, this is your city. So speak up and vote for it on November 19th. Don't just vote for candidates, vote for Kelowna and what you want to happen.